movies, 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 movies and TV, movies and TV, movies and TV, 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 movies and TV, movies and TV, movies, 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 I like my movies and TV, movies and TV, movies and TV, spoilers! Hi, I'm JD with the best of your movie news and reviews, and today I'll be reviewing Franklin. Franklin is basically a movie about a character named Franklin, to whom is a vigilante in the city of Meanwhile, a place that is corrupt with religion. If you don't have a religion, you have to get one. Tis the law. The whole concept is Franklin has been arrested for not having a religion and vigilanticism, and then is released four years later to hunt down the individual, a part of a dangerous religion on the rise. Then, it revolves around a few other characters in London, a man to whom has recently broken up with his fiancée and cancelled his wedding, and reconnects with his long-lost best friend to whom he might fall in love with. As well, it circles around a woman to whom is working on an art project about suicide. She repeatedly kills herself and brings herself back, and is discussing her final project. And there's a man looking for his missing son, Daniel Priest, to whose face they do not show. Well, and then there's finally Mop Bucket Guy, to whom randomly shows up mysteriously through the thing. Spoiler time! Alright, so the whole concept is, Franklin is Daniel Priest, and he's crazy. He basically thinks he's in the city of Meanwhile, when he's really in London, and he's hunting the individual who's actually his dad. See, he's trying to get revenge for his client, to whom the individual killed, who's actually his sister, and then the lady who's trying to kill herself interacts with Mop Bucket Guy, to whom turns out to be God. So, what does she do? She's talking to him, saying, why, why not kill myself? I don't give a shit about anyone who I know. And then God basically looks at her and says, it's not about the people you know, it's about the people you haven't met yet. And then the guy who runs into his best friend from years past finds, finds out that his best friend is actually his imaginary friend that he brings out when he copes with terrible incidences like the death of his father and the breaking up with his fiancée. Some, uh, some interesting brain food to chew on there. And then the final sequence, Frank Franklin is about to kill his dad, pointing a gun at him when he's in a restaurant. He breaks into the apartment of the random girl who's trying to kill herself while she's trying to kill herself. She tries to defend his father by taking Franklin on, and in the end, Franklin accidentally shoots the guy who is breaking up with his imaginary friend in the restaurant in the arm. He has a break back into reality because he realizes that he's not Franklin and that he's actually Daniel Priest. With the shock of it, he shoos the one girl out of her own apartment and kills himself with a Michael Bay explosion! So then the girl goes downstairs, and the father is helping the guy who gets shot, taking him to the ambulance, and then they run into each other, and she, and she looks exactly like his imaginary friend! And then God is meanwhile mopping at the same time, turns around, and disappears. So what's my review on this movie? A little underwhelming. It's kind of like the movie tried to mind-screw you, and had a really great start, and then just underperformed the rest of the movie. Ha oh, ha bad sex jokes. Basically, I didn't like it. It starts off really cool with this awesome gothic imagery of Meanwhile City, and then they go into this whole concept that he's insane, so they go to the ordinary standard view of London. And they start off with some badass, badassery where Franklin's beating the shit out of some guys, and then it's just Franklin sitting in an apartment for the rest of the movie. And then my suggestion is, at most, borrow it from a friend, download it, or if you already have Netflix, it's in the instant queue. Wouldn't go much further than that. I wouldn't recommend it really highly. But I think it is an enjoyable watch if you're really, really bored and there's nothing else to watch. Once again, I'm JD. This is Spoilers, and hopefully there's some brain food for you.